we're going to see if his legs need chopped off. Don't need your back legs, do you? You're going to get them chopped off. Chelsea plays drums. Is it better? Is it better? You're going to go see the bet. You're going to go see the bet. Yeah. Hello, pubs. You Hello. Here you go, Poppy. You want some screen time? Don't get that enough. You gonna take the walrus to see the. You gonna show the vets? Yeah, take your walrus to see the vets. I'm sure they would like a walrus very much. Do you get front seat privileges as well? Yeah. It's not bright today. Bright today. Get the vet. Are you gonna go to the vet? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? What? Really? Who said that? Down we go. I will. I'm back soon. Okay. There he goes. <laughs> Tail. Hello, Tane, where have you been? Where have you been? I've got to need my legs chopped off, Dad. I've so got to need legs chopped off. Only way. Oh dear. It's only way, Dad, sorry. Oh dear. Um, I'm, I'm actually really healthy, Dad. You're actually really healthy? Wow! <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> na, 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 na. What did the vet say then, Tane? Why are you clicking so much then? So, I need to use my hands as a diagram here. Okay. He's got, the dogs have joints. The clicking noise. They have joints. I'm going to show you what the joint looks like, though. Whoa! The clicking noise, though, is not uncommon with his kind of breed. But that's because so, that's because pugs get bad legs. Got bad legs. So a dog's joint is kind of yeah. like that, and then there's a bit that just kind of goes in and out. Yeah. What's happening with the clunking noise is it's just where ever so slightly goes over the border. Tin. Are you It goes ever so slightly possible? like over the border and like clunks a bit. Yeah. What? is quite common is if dogs tend to like walk and flick their back legs out it's because yeah, like he's got a good flick on his legs it's because no but like do it straight out oh. it's because the joints come out and they're basically pushing it back in oh. she says that it comes in four grades and his is the lowest grade that you can get um normally you notice it more with the leg flicks than you do the noise but obviously we've noticed the noise first um but otherwise all we need to do is Unfortunately, because he's such a tall boy, he just needs more muscle. More muscle? He needs to build muscle on his back legs and his hind quarters. Mm -hmm. So she said, lots of walks up hills. Every day's leg day for win. Yeah. She said, lots of walks up hills is going to be the best bet for him and really let him kind of like power and pull up. Um, going to go mountain climbing. Yeah, so things like that where, you know when he goes when we got like wind ladder and he goes up the fells yeah. things like that where he really is working those back legs as well as the front legs is what's best he's not in any pain or discomfort she's not worried about him at all and there is loads of options worst case scenario being um like reparative surgery so it's bionic legs for win it's not got it's not like uh, it's not giving him any discomfort any um what do you call it when it's like poor quality of life or anything like that she said they've got the, a joint supplement that we can spray on his food that kind of it's not necessary right now but that would help but they didn't have any in stock and also she said that because of his age she's not too worried but obviously who had to go in the room on his own and be away from his mummy so decided to cry at the door oh no we <laughs> right mister should we get you home to see your brother and you have a run around to get them legs exercised. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Okay, let's go. Oh, George! <laughs> Hiya, Babs. Well, you're excited to see me. Who's Dad's excited to see Wayne? And Wayne's excited to see me. I don't know. I think Chelsea explained that very well, so I don't need to say any more. So what we'll do is we'll update you guys once we figure out what we're going to do, because we don't know whether we're going to adjust his diet, we'll have to figure out like a routine for him, maybe like an exercise routine, maybe do like hydrotherapy, do something. We're not sure yet, we'll figure it out, we'll let you guys know what we're doing and then obviously we'll update you 
his progress, how he's getting on in a month, for two months time, whatever, we figure out what we're going to do. But yeah, if you do get this problem with your pug, do go get it checked out, whether they're young or old, it's concerning both ways. Like Chelsea said, it's the class that's like tier one, they're not worried about it at all, but still go get it checked out, don't just think because it's fine for Winston, it'll be fine for your pug. Fortunately, it is nothing, so we're dead pleased about that, we just need to get him a bit fat because he's a bit skinny, so, I mean, that's fine, that's a problem we can solve, so, excellent. So hope you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe if you did, and peace out everyone.